All right, let's figure out what quadrant uh, pi over 4 would be in and negative pi over 4. So it's also one that's going to be a lot easier once you know the unit circle. Um, but for now, pi over 4, um, I guess you could actually convert that to degrees. It wouldn't be too bad. It's the same as 45 degrees if that's easier. But let's stick with radians so that you have a method to deal with that. If this is 0 pi radians, all the way around is 2 pi radians. Then halfway around is pi radians. And so that's important. If this is 1 pi radians, I'd like to cut it into fourths. So let's say here's a fourth, here's a fourth, here's a fourth, and here's a fourth. So here's where 1 pi fourths is, 2 pi fourths, 3 pi fourths, and 4 pi fourths, which reduces to 1 pi. Um, so that's way more information than we needed. We just needed to know that that ended up landing in quadrant one. Negative five pi over four, since this is negative, we'll still start on the standard position, but we're gonna go clockwise. So I'm gonna do the same thing. You can see how I divided this pi into fourths. I'm gonna do the same thing here. This pi, here's one fourth, here's a fourth, there's a fourth, and there's a fourth. So here's negative one pi fourth, Here's where negative 2 pi fourths is, negative 3 pi fourths, negative 4 pi fourths. Now, of course, we usually reduce this. This is like 1, negative 1 half. This is like negative 1. But just keep going. Negative 1 fourth, negative 1 pi fourths, negative 2 pi fourths, negative 3 pi fourths, negative 4 pi fourths. So if I make that same jump, then I see where negative 5 pi fourths is. And that is exactly in the middle of quadrant two.